I get a phone call from the president of Clowns Without Borders, Ireland. He wants me to go to Rwanda. I'm not a clown. We need a musician. You've been to Africa before. It'd be perfect. It's Africa, man. Why would you bring the drummer to Africa? <laughs> special place in hell for well-meaning souls who try to do good. You fuck up like that, you don't end up in the sexy bit of hell with all the gangsters and the porn stars. You go to the other bit with the Reiki practitioners. That can't come in here. But that... It's just a puppet. It's dangerous. It's kind of kill. But that... Justin, their diminutive mascot, is pure boy band material. He's all smiley and muscly and handsome. He's a decoration on top of their human pyramid. It was the family themselves who murdered the mother. Man is an animal, he says. Man is an animal. And you get the impression he knows something about human nature we'd rather not understand. For a moment we're afraid he's going to confess something terrible to us. But then he says, he was away in Burundi when it all happened. After we leave the taxi, Mr. Green says he read somewhere that a lot of Rwandans would tell you they were out of the country when the genocide happened. But they weren't. Mr. Green's moment comes when he wanders into a room with a big glass case full of skulls and another one full of femurs. For me, it's the massive numbers that took part. And the gruesome, gratuitous pleasure they took in torturing and humiliating their victims. A mob energy infuses the camp with a volatile collective excitement. People acting and emoting together like one massive raw, bristling entity. The shorn hair of men, women and children accentuating the sense of common identity. This is what clowns do. They just need their audience. They get any acrobats follow up with a killer show. I see now a barrage fits into the picture. His lean body flying through the air, going straight over the other's heads. I get a do you. I realise these are my last moments with the kids. I hop off the bus on my own. Head out along the ridge. Pass between rows and rows of tiny houses. An oscillating cloud of children expanding and contracting around me. It's my turn to feel grateful. I even imagine I hear my name being called on the wind. Brown! Brown! Then I realise I am being called. It's Farage. It must be time for the last show. <laughs> <laughs>